Hi, I'm George Barnes. I've been involved with FlowCal application for over 21 years now. I actually started out as a software developer and in my 21 years uh, with the company, I've done FlowCal installations, support, project management, uh, been involved with API for a number of years, I've done training, pretty much everything except run the company. They never let me do that. I'm currently senior manager for products where I oversee the teams doing the FlowCal development and I also serve as SME for FlowCal, especially for the liquids portion of the FlowCal application. If you're a measurement analyst for a liquids uh, system, whether you're dealing with NGLs or demethanized mix or some other sort of light hydrocarbon products, one of the things you're probably going to need to deal with is your component mass and component volume. And so FlowCal does those calculations for component mass and component volume. And I'm looking in the volume editor, and what you can see is I'm on the components tab. I'm looking at the batch view right now, but here you can see all of my different liquid mass components. And then I've also got my component volumes here to the right of that. And then further to the right, we've got the total net, we've got the net allowable for each component. You can also see the totals of each of these. And we've got those numbers that you can view at the periodic, the daily, and the monthly tab, as well as at the batch level. And then these are also going to roll up into your balance location so you can view these in your roll up viewer and see what your gain loss is for these components. I'm George Barnes. Thank you for joining me for this FlowCal Minute.